Welcome back to King's Bounty, the legend. Let's restock our troops. Yeah, we are hurting. Barbarians are not very good. But, I mean, they're a forward unit, and I kind of need that. They just have no defense. Oh, I'm out of priests. Um, I'm just going to dismiss the Thorn Hunters at this point. Christ, that took a lot of money. Okay, quests. What are we doing? Right, we need to bring the ring to the magic school. I've brought you the cursed ring. How interesting. No, no, I guess I won't take it in my hands now. The curse is rather strong and I wouldn't like to take the risk. By the way, are you feeling all right? You don't feel giddy, your feet grow numb. What's this have to do with removing the curse? I'm sorry, never mind, just my curiosity. I beg your pardon, but I can't help you under the circumstances. This is no common object, but a highly animate one. At this moment, the ring's keepers are in quite an aggressive mood. They won't even let me approach close enough to examine the magic structure of the ring, not to mention break the charm. I'm afraid you'll have to eliminate them, young man. Oh no. Keepers, what do you mean? Strange, haven't you been told in the Magic Academy about enchanted items that bear souls? Anyway, in short, some enchanted items obtain their properties due to the soul imparted to them by their creators. We call such artifacts animate, and sometimes they act in a very willful way. The most effective way to clamp a rebelling item is to suppress it. In order to gain control of the thing, one needs to enter into the item and win a battle with its keepers. Kill the ring's keepers, then return to you. We'll try to kill the ring's keepers. We've seen that these things can... Um, go wrong. Morale, terrible. You can suppress the item. The miller found this ring in one of the graves and paid a heavy price for his greed. The ring was cursed and the grave robber was turned into a zombie. Ordinary golden ring found by the, the miller in a cemetery. Alright, hit suppress. Suppress the item to take control of its features. Luckily, this is a much easier fight than the other. Holy crap. Oh, I should not have... I should put melee on the edges. Oh, well. Okay, that should dispel. I'm gonna hit dispel anyway. Move up. You move up. You move up and block. Well, not really block, but I mean, that's three movement points to get around you now. That's annoying. That is very annoying. Okay, go up here and kill. Why can't you... Oh, because you're engaged in melee. You can't destroy any of these towers, so... Kill these guys, I guess. I should have used a magic pole axe. If I do this, then we will find out if I need to kill the towers to count as a victory. Cut. 
Really? Okay, do we need to kill the towers? Let's load because that was not a good encounter. Switch you guys around. Why do those towers have such high initiative? Okay. Pull axe to destroy one of them. You can come up here and attack this unit. Um, I should have cast haste on you, but... Come up here to eat that counter. Or to kill with that counter. I guess I should say... Still kills a lot of my units, but it's still significantly better. So then, kill another tower. Oh, that's in. Oh, I could have moved up. Never mind. That was on me. This tower. Kill the. Oh! He did not kill those ghosts. Don't make that a moment. You move up. Kill that stack. Kill that stack. Kill that tower. Still lost a lot of units, but... Um... How goes your search? Have you found this? Oh. I've dealt with the cursed ring as you requested. Excellent. Now I'll be able to examine the structure of the curse and make up a counter spell. Actually, it's a fairly elementary task. Now to modify the structure a little. And... The talking to you, Javaria strong, strangely manipulates the ring, which for a moment throws off blue sparks as it glitters a reddish color. Already. Ah, and the spell that will take off the Miller's Curse sounds like this. Sobius Ratka Barian Taurus. As for the ring, I'll have it melted down so it won't kill any more poor souls. Sobius Rat... Yes, got it. Thank you kindly. Um, have you found the ring? Hake must have it for sure. I found the ring, and I got a spell from the mages which will remove the curse. Don't tantalize me, Bill Gilbert. Cut, remove the curse from me. Sobius Rat Siberian Taurus. Yes, you did it. I'm already feeling how my eyesight is becoming clearer. The fog and darkness disperses. I see as if I stand in daylight. I see you. Every crease on your clothes. Every vein in your neck. Oh. It's Kabirian. Felt at once how it became warmer inside me, and my legs become more obedient as if they've thawed. That's how it should be. Soon you've become, you've completely returned to a normal human. Good luck. And we do owe a debt. So let's repay that. Did you find the spell for removing the curse from my sweetheart? 
Learn the spell which will remove the curse. Excellent. But you know, you better write it down on a piece of paper for me. We better not remove the curse from Rena right now. I don't think I got that. You want your wife to remain a zombie? At first, they just laughed behind my back, of course. Then my men decided I should be removed. That's when Rena came to my help. First time, she smelled a poison in my food. The second time, she took an arbalest shot for me. To her, well, she's undead, so it didn't do her no harm. You try to find a bodyguard like that. No sleep, no food, no rest, no salary. Oh, but how she loves me. If I can just keep her under control, well, you can't find a better wife. Um, no. So, B.S. Rat, Kibirian, Taurus. There's no option to just go into her. Ugh. Write this down. Dick. Suggestion concerning Arena. Oh, she can join, I guess. Uh, I'd like to buy something. Trying to cause trouble? We're honest workers. We even have a license. What, you think the license is no good? We have great document specialists, you know. They can't read, but they'll write whatever you tell them, in Elven or even in the Sunset language. Definitely don't sell the stolen stuff. Even if we did, we definitely want to tell you about it. I believe you, Chief. I believe you. Show me your license and your other stuff. Uh, robber units, scrolls of dragon arrows, and magic shackles. Any special abilities will be blocked. Oh. That's actually really good, but I don't have the room. Uh, let's see. Can I... How can I sell scrolls? I guess maybe only at... Well, I can only sell stuff in general at the actual, like, fortresses and stuff now I think about it. I'll deal with Beardless Joe in... Uh, actually, I think I have a quest to deal with Beardless Joe, don't I? Etvid... Oh, right, that's the Town Elder. That's where I get the actual reward. That gives me the Fishing Tackle. Yeah, let's do this since we're here. Who are you? What do you want from me? Get out of here while you're still in one piece. You clearly have a beard. Even that tackle you over fancy that. He thought he was going to frighten me. What tackle are you talking about, buddy? I know nothing about no tackle. You've insulted my friend, taking his fishing tackle away from Kitano. And because he's my friend, I'm going to tear out your mouth to shred with his hooks and pluck out your eyes. You're going to be source... You're going... You'll be going to sorceresses for the rest of your short, miserable life. Well, now, old chap, did you really mean to threaten me? You better know not to do that, you know. Otherwise, I can, you know... Don't try and fret baiting me. I'm Viscount Bill Gilbert. I won't stand for threats from a petty thief. If you don't want to play this out nice and friendly, we'll do it in a less pleasant way. Bless on archers. so I lost a lot of damage. Oops. Oh, well. Just rage. Let's see. Magic axe on you. attack on you. Oh. You. chest. Oh, well, it's like 200 gold. Not the 
Christian tackle. It's ordinary fishing tackle. This fishing gear has not been used for a long time. Hi, Bill Gilbert. I'm still waiting for you to bring me my tackle. I hear Joe planned to visit the lighthouse keeper. You can try to track him down from there. I know, I know. That's exactly where I found him at the lighthouse. Here's your tackle. What about Beardless Joe? Hope he's not going to come bothering me again. Don't worry about him. He's got to join his ancestors. Well, it serves him right. I'm just sorry I didn't kill him myself. I could have caught him coming out of the tavern and beaten him with an oar. Ah, sorry, I must have been daydreaming. What was I talking about? Ah, yes. Good job, Bill Gilbert. Here's your reward. 1100 gold, 60 XP. Do I have any errands from here? No work for you at the moment. I already have a boat, so I don't need to buy one from him. Visited the Altar of Combat. Altar of Knowledge. So let's come up here and talk to Etvid. Etvid visited the Miller. Yeah, so you don't have the Miller anymore. He's turned into a zon- oh. Oh, I knew his trips to the cemetery wouldn't end well. How many times I've told him. Come to your senses, Bob. The dead won't forgive your violation of their remains. How shall we manage without a Miller now? Don't worry, I've already removed the curse. Oh, thank you. Now every shadow frightens me. What if the Miller comes to get me? Why are you so afraid of him? Maybe you feel bad you drove him to this, eh? What do you think? Why do you think that? We were as hand in glove, the best of friends. Well, it's your business, not mine. I've got things to do. Goodbye. Let's see. Uh, ask you a couple questions already. Okay. We are done here officially. <laughs> We took how long? Let's see. Helga's cave lets me do rescue the frog. Dragon tooth tavern. Lost cargo. From Verlin Forest to Arlania, so that's the sea area that I'll find it on, I guess. Um, Archmage dungeon. Spider Dungeon, Magic Academy, and Furlong Forest. Okay. So if I go to the world map now, we've actually been to most of Darien, which is interesting. I mean, there are sequels. Oh, there's an obelisk of Fang, uh, Fandor here. These reefs are very treacherous. One of my ships has taken ground and I'm forced to leave it there. I would not be surprised if, I, if soon the ghosts of the dead sailors settle here. King Fandor. 240 gold. Uh, there is a ghost ship there. Do I clear this map? Mm. See, the thing is, I don't know if there's any point to that. Um, let me go restock archers while I say, like, I guess it gets me a little bit of, like, chip gold, chip XP. Not lose any of you. I can use more swordsmen, but I don't know where to get swordsmen, just guardsmen up here at this point. Which means maybe I should think about getting ghosts instead. Maybe I'll come back here with a notably stronger army. Because, like, that's still a match. And that's just a banner. Or, like, 12 leadership. 
So I think for now I'm just going to focus on our quests. Which means I want to go to the uh, Arlania Verlon Sea. Seas. Like, if I check the map here. Okay, so there's the whole southern part of that isle, and there's the whole southern cape, I guess. There. Weak bowmen, sea dogs, wolves. Wolves are. not enough to drive me away, actually. Like, they can be a problem. That's mostly their howl. Yeah, I still have no idea what the hell rage does. That's still going to be a, a stat of kill right there. Or not. Oh well. Just hit defend. Should a smashing blow? The Sword of Balance suddenly jerks and buzzes. From the edge to the handle, it began to fill with ominous blackness. The aura of darkness cloaks the blade, bespeaking of fear and pain. Sure sign the sword you hold is the true sword of darkness. It seems that by your deeds have awakened Geffen's sword to the dark. By beating up pirates. And ne'er duels. Uh, plus 5 to attack, plus 10 attack during nighttime combat, 20 per minus 20% 20 to defense of humans and elves. Long sword with a jet pl black blade in which only the stars reflect. Altered by the behavior of its owner, the equi Equilibrium Sword took the side of darkness. Now the sword serves the destruction of the forces of light, exterminating humans and elves with great fury. Oh! Oh! All that includes enemy. Oh, because I've been fighting uh, humans more than undead or something with it. Okay, interesting. And it's still just a good plus five attack in other circumstances, even. That's an interesting reactivity. You I'm actually worried about being, like, damaging to me. You are low enough HP that the fire damage matters. Let's see, maybe you can damage range while raging? Well, you can crit while raging. Christ. Holy hell! 528 damage.
I know it was a critical, but still. Decent experience for that one. 1600 gold. Slightly weaker, not worth doing for no direct reward, and then there are freaking Cyclops now. We've been to the artist's house. I keep coming back to frickin' nautical fantasy. And carefully take the chest from the water. The chest was much lighter than you would have thought and absolutely dry. Chest which is used for the maritime transport of goods. A strong wooden chest, the main virtues of which are flotation and water tightness. Special runes which are drawn on it by a skilled mage sometimes make the chest itself more valuable than the contents. Um, just a bunch of devil fish here. Precision on you and then bless you. Hell yeah, 300 damage, so you can just kill that stack and then that stack in the back. Move up and defend. Or that could happen. Glad I hit defend, at least. Let's see. Do that. Kind of not optimal right now, but you'll y'all. You don't have a counter. And you finish. 940 gold. And magic crystals. Plus one. Oh, maybe they're all in this region. Chest which is used for the maritime transport of goods. Uh, let me check. No, there's definitely at least one that's actually in the Berlin map. Weak for... Some scrolls. I'll worry about that later. I wish I could angle the camera down a little more just so I could totally check. Oh, what? Some gold. Okay. Not much, but...
Yeah, because there's Pillars 2, Risen 2, now this. Alright, Verlon Forest. Which I'm not going to focus too much on... actually exploring. I'm here mostly for this quest right now. Uh, Thorn Hunters and Barbarians. Actually, that's an easy trade for a Witching Well. Because that's experience for a, um, in return for a single magic crystal. Uh, would a Fire Arrow do more? Against you. 30 kills. Yeah, that actually would. But they're basically harmless now. Mostly harmless, even. Rage. Oh, wow. Did not expect the burn to do that much damage, honestly. Come up here to bait a counter. on you. You just defend. Awesome. You should have dropped it into the crystals. A lot of experience for that. Um, grab that. Grab that. And not have to deal with those barbarians. So what? Have you found my goods? Found all the chests. Here, take them. Thanks. You can't even imagine how much you've helped me. Goods from one of the most important pirates on the islands were there. I would have been killed for the loss. Welcome. I'm always glad to help. Alright. So, next time on Let's Play... Let's try King's Bounty the Legend, we're going to go into Verlon Forest proper. See you guys then.